So I wanted to make a short and hopefully relatively simple guide to showcase a solution that I've come up with for an issue that some Utaro voice blanks have. Now, it isn't an issue per se, as in the voice blanks themselves are fully functional and work completely as intended. They are just packaged in such a way that I feel can be a little challenging for new Utaro users especially. This issue can be worked around in Utaro itself. But the solution that I've come up with, I feel, is in the long term much faster, less tedious, and it's universal, so any voice bank that requires this solution, it can be applied to, and it allows you to load up any standard USC that you'd like to use, and just plug and play it with whatever voice bank you'd like to use, essentially. I will be using Teto's Whisper voice bank as the main example in this guide. I will, however, cover Ritsu's strong voice bank and Ritsu's Kida voice bank. His Kida voice bank, however, requires a little extra work outside of Utaru, purely because of the way it's packaged, but I will show you that when I get to it. So, to do this in Utaru itself, you're going to load up Utaru and whatever UST you'd like. This is just a standard VCV UST I've got here. I already have Teto's Whisper voice bank loaded as well. Now, if I select this portion and try to play, she won't sing. And that's because if you go to Tools, Voice Bank Settings, you will see that Teto's Whisper voice bank has this additional kanji on the end of the alias, and this is its suffix. So, what you can do is you can copy this kanji, select your entire UST, go to Tools, Built in Tools, Suffix Broker, and paste the kanji into this box here. Make sure you click the add symbol and click OK. Now your entire UST will have this required kanji on the end of them. So if you select a portion of it and click play... Oh, actually, Teto's Whisper Voice Bank in particular requires a little extra work purely because of the way it's packaged, so I need to remove these. Now, if I select this portion and click play, she sings as you want her to. Now, this solution can be applied to any voice bank that requires this in Utaro itself. However, if you load up the folder that the voice bank is in and you right click the auto.ini and open it with WordPad, you will see all of the aliases here. So select this kanji again, go to replace, paste it into this box here, and leave this box completely blank. Don't put a space in it or anything, just leave it as it is, and click replace all. As you can see, this has removed this alias, um, this suffix, sorry, from all of the aliases. So if you save this, it will come up with a warning, but this is fine, just click yes. And now go back into Utaru. Go to voice bank settings, you will see that... Ah, yes, you need to do a little extra work. Click file, open configuration, and click the auto. They now don't require this alias anymore. So if you select your entire USC that has the suffixes on it now, and go to built-in tools, suffix broker, and click the minus symbol, and remove it, you select this portion again, and she will hopefully sing. And that's it. That's the issue with the voice bank fixed. And you can apply this to any voice bank, like I said. So I will go to Ritu Strong voice bank for this next example. You open up the auto, you can see that these require F4. So just the same thing. Open with WordPad. Replace. F4. I'm going to click match case just in case for this one. And click replace all. It's done. You click save and it's fine. You can now load up this same USC you could load with Ritu Strong Voice Bank, which I will show you now. Select this portion. I think I might need to add these back in, however. And of course, if you haven't used the voice bank already, um, some voice banks will come with the frequency files already generated. I, however, like to delete mine when I'm not using the voice bank, just 
OCD purposes, I suppose. But yes, it will generate the frequency files, and he should hopefully sing. And that's it! This, like I said, this can be applied to any voice bank that requires these extra suffixes on the end of their aliases. Now, with Ritsu's Kire voice bank, if I go to the C5 folder, you can see that the, the WAV files themselves actually have this suffix on them. So if you applied the same solution to this voice bank, it won't work because the file names still have this suffix. So I'll show you what I mean since it's a, it's a little hard to explain. If I open with WordPad, and now if I try C, the alias has C5, but the WAV file also has C5. So if I try to replace this, it would replace all of the WAV file names as well. So it won't even recognize that these files are there. So you can use a program outside of Utaro called Advanced Renamer. And what this allows you to do is you can select all of the WAV files that you'd like to rename. Drag them into Advanced Renamer. Now, the default method will be to remove something like this. Like, you can tell it how many letters to remove from the file name and which part to start at. However, for this one, we need to replace. So, this requires C5. So, type in C5. Replace with, leave this completely blank. Case sensitive. Click start batch. And that's done. So now if we go back to our voice bank, you can see that all of these are as a standard voice bank would be. They don't have the suffix on the end of the WAV files. So if we now open up the auto, go to WordPad, click replace, C5, replace all. It takes away this suffix on the alias, but now they also match the name of the WAV files themselves. So save the auto.ini. Open up Utaio. Go ahead and open up Ritu's. Sorry, that's Tato. Ritu's Kida voice bank. Now, if I select this portion, he should hopefully sing once it's generated all the frequency files. Now, obviously, it sounds a bit weird because this isn't in the ideal pitch for Ritsu's uh, C5 Kirei voice line. But yeah, this is the solution. And like I said, I feel like it's much simpler, much faster in the, in the long term, especially, you know, if you want to load up a UST and you select a voice bank that requires this, you have to change the whole UST to match it every single time. Whereas if you use this solution, you can just load up any standard BCB USC and just play it whenever you want, and that's it. I hope this at least helped someone, because I had this issue and I couldn't find this kind of guide anywhere. And yeah, happy you tiring! <laughs>